Today's date is January the 2nd, 2013. I'm at 3016 California, televising a sanitary sewer line from a four-inch stack in the basement of the residence. I've already started videotaping while the camera is inside the sewer system. The camera is inside the sewer system 76 feet from the base of the stack in the basement. Right here we're looking at a buried six inch yard vent. I've located this spot. The riser needs to be dug up to grade. Basically what a yard vent is is a trap in the sewer line that actually uh, goes down and use up like a trap would. From there on the back side of the trap it goes out towards MSD's main. From pushing the camera 76 feet back from the trap that we're looking at, I cannot push the camera through the trap out to the main from this point. To get to the main, we'd have to push the camera down through the riser itself to reach the main. We won't be able to do that until the sewer line is actually dug up and brought up to ground level. So this is as far as I'm going to be able to televise the sewer. From here, it's roughly another 30 feet to MSD's connection. From this point, I'll continue to record as I pull the camera back to the stack. As you can see, I had a cable out the sewer line before I began televising. But going from a 4 inch stack, I can only use a 2 inch blade. This is a 6 inch diameter clay pipe that we're in. It has tree roots growing into the clay, as you can see here. It's common for clay to have tree roots grow through it, however, the tree roots are going to grow in to the point where it will eventually need to be cabled out to keep the sewer maintained, open and running. If the sewer lines get too long, they will eventually grab waste material and toilet paper and clog the sewer up. We're now coming back into the 4 inch cast iron. This is the pipe that runs underneath of the building's floor in the basement. As you can see there uh, are tree roots growing through the cast iron. It's a sign that the cast iron's in uh, decay condition. Uh, whenever tree roots can poke through an actual cast iron pipe, it's definitely not a good thing. <clears throat> so you can see here there's more uh, uh, tree roots growing into the cast iron. And this, this tree root right here is just man, it's, it actually has the cast iron pipe shut down. Uh, even after running a two inch blade through it, it, it my blade just would not grab it, so now it just kind of 
folds back and gets out of the way of the uh, cutter. But you can see here it's just a big tree root growing into the uh, cast iron. With this type of a condition for the cast iron and with three families possibly living in the unit itself, it's my recommendation that the cast iron gets replaced. It would be more cost effective to have the sewer line on the outside be six inch and have a one, one time a year possible backup because of tree roots rather than the four inch cast iron having tree roots because of it being a smaller pipe it could back up more often, more frequent. So in terms of the longevity and the cost of maintaining the sewer line, leaving the tree roots in the cast iron would be more expensive as far as a maintenance is concerned. But this will conclude the video taping of the sewer. We're now back outside of the line.